Hey guys, it's me, Tim here, and I'm back again with another custom uh, review video. You can see the Falcon in the background, that's for another video. This one, as you can see, um, I've got a couple figures in front of me, uh, 16 to be exact, and um, it's not Star Wars, it's actually something that I've been wanting to do for a few years now. Um, I just never got far enough to actually record a video. This is, as I mentioned, 16. That's a minifigure series. So yeah, it's a minifigure series. And it's based off of one of my favorite TV shows. Um, it's kind of older, but it's based off of the show Lost. Um, I've always wanted to make videos off of it, off of that show. Um, it's just, I never thought it would, I know for a fact it's not gonna really, it's gonna probably bomb for views, but I don't really care if I, I just wanna do it before well, I still have the time. Um, so I've got 16 figures here. In the past, I think I just overdid it. Tried to do sets and also like 20 numbered figures. And I just chose to do... I threw these together last night so they're not perfect. But I wanted to do it um, before I left for school. Um, so I've got 16 figures. Um, I doubt any of you have ever seen the show or know anything. Um, well, at least I know one or two people might um, that see this video. Um, I know one person for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I won't waste much time. Um, I'm probably gonna, I'm hoping to be able to, to, to put up pictures of each character. Since I know not many people will recognize them because they've never seen the show probably. So I'm hoping to put up, you know, little pictures up in the corner next to each figure that I show off. None of their outfits are really based off of anything exact. I mean, some of them I, I had a... Uh, a faint idea for like what they'd be first up we have jack shepherd um he is the main character of the show essentially and this outfit is kind of based off of something that we see him wear a white shirt and also you know pants and they have weapons um this wouldn't realistically be a lego theme i can see like i don't think lego would ever do this not only because it's really just kind of niche i guess at this time but also it's, it's kind of like in a, a more mature show but see, so yeah, he's got a gun, and um, he's a doctor with a gun. But uh, on the they're they're crashed on an island. That's the premise of the show: is everybody's crashed on an island. It's kind of like a mystery show. Um, it goes on for six six seasons. Some good, some bad, you know. But why not? So the main character, Jack Shepard, he's a doctor, and yeah, we kind of follow him throughout the entire show. And I think I got his uh, face down pretty well. I've always used Poe Dameron's face and the hairpiece. Um, I'd maybe use Finn's hair in brown, actually. This or Finn's hair in brown works, I think. But he's got this shirt from Jurassic World. And then also some just rebel pants. And yeah, I think the gun works for his accessory. Maybe there's others that they could give him. Um, none of them are really coming to my head right now. But yeah, second figure is kind of like the second main character. Um, it's John Locke. Um, he has a knife here. I might give, I would probably give him another knife or something else. I'm not sure. Uh, this head I've also always used for him. Uh, it's Django Fett's or Boba Fett's head. And um, the torso is from Bodie Rook. Uh, this outfit is also kind of based on something he would wear. He, he wore a vest, like a hunting vest for a lot of the show. And um, so yeah, that's what this is based off of, really. Um, so yeah third figure I mean all of these are kind of main characters kind of but this is kind of the main character you know uh, this is Kate uh, Austin that's her name Kate Austin and she's actually played by um, Evangeline Lilly she's in like she plays the wasp and I think she's also in the Hobbit but so I used Zori Freemakers um, torso and legs um, now so just skin tone hands the head the face is the new Hermione face she has this long the, you know, this hair piece, uh, the Supergirl hair piece, I guess. Um, and then there's the alternate face. And for her, I'm, I would probably give her another gun, maybe. Or maybe I'd, I'd also give her a silver suitcase, I think, because that's one of the, that's something important to her story. Uh, but yeah, so this is Kate Austin. Next up is Hugo Reyes, or Hurley. Um, he goes by Hurley. And, um, yeah, he's kind of, he's a, he's a cool guy. He's one of my favorite characters. Um, he's got some food and then also a torch because, you know, 
they need to have torch on the on the island. And the legs are from one of the Ninjago figures, Torso's Boba Fett's. And this outfit is kind of based off of something that he would wear, maybe. But so his hair is actually raised hair because he's got like really long hair. And the face would, the skin tone would probably be like the, 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 the slightly darker light flesh tone. But this had, this had I chose for the facial hair mainly. Uh, I think it really works. Pretty, it works pretty well. His hair would also probably be darker, not normal brown, just like the dark brown. Next figure is, uh, shoot, what's his name? Charlie. It was on my, it was, it was on my mind the second before I started filming. It's Charlie Pace. Um, he's kind of like a, a musician, uh, you know, before he, the plane crash. And so, yeah, he would come with a guitar and a guitar case as well, because, yeah, he has that. And the outfit is kind of based off of his season one appearance. Um, but so he's got the Lloyd hair. I think this hair works really well for him. And he's got the Captain America face uh, from Infinity War, mainly for the facial hair, but also this face is actually really characteristic. He's played by um, the guy who plays uh, Beaumont and Ken in The Rise of Skywalker, and he's also in The Hobbit, or he's also in Lord of the Rings, uh, Mary. Um, uh, his name's slipping me too. But um, yeah. Next figure is uh, Claire. Hmm, I forget her last name again. Uh, so this is Claire, uh, whatever the last name is. Um, so she's actually, whenever they crash, she's pregnant, but she gives birth on the island. So I think I'd give her the baby. Like she'd have a baby. Uh, little, you know, the little baby figure. So, yeah. And then this is not really anything, ba really, it's just the face and the hair that really um, is based off of her. Because I just chose random torso and legs. Next figure is Saeed Jarrah. Um, he was a torturer in the Iraq, um, whenever he fought for Iraq. And I think I got the likeness down pretty well. He's got a walkie talkie because he's kind of also like a technician. Um, and then there's also a map because he's always got maps and whatnot. But um, he's got no sleeves. He's got the Xander Freemaker torso. And then also um, Kanan's legs. And he's got, um, what is his name? Bodhi Rook's face. And I think that really captures his look. Obviously, the backside has the goggles, which, you know, don't really need. But then he's got the long hair. Uh, you know, long hair piece. Next up, we have Sawyer, or James Ford. And I don't know really what accessory to give him. This is actually based off of his season 5 appearance. Whenever, um, during one of the stories, he goes by the floor. So he's got, like, this little workman jumpsuit thing. Um, but I think the head and hair really capture his look. Uh, and then there's the back face. That one also does pretty well. And he's got the Han Solo hair in orange, you know? And then Chris Pratt's face. But yeah, the accessory, I'm not too sure what I would give him. Maybe he'd have glasses on the alternate face. Because he does get glasses in the show. Um, and then the next figure is uh, Boone. He's actually kind of like season one specific. He was kind of like the last figure I threw together. But he's got his jacket that he's always wearing um, in the flashbacks. Because the show actually has a lot of flashbacks. But um, it's just Finn's you know, torso from episode 8. He's got, um, young Han Soul face and also the, um, you know, the Iron Man, or the Superman hair. So yeah, I think this does pretty good. Not really the back face. I think this face really works for him, though. And his accessories, I'm also not too sure what I would give him for accessories. Next figure is Desmond Hume. He's actually another one of my favorite characters. This show has a lot of my favorite characters. But, um, uses the serious black hair and face, which I think also really captures his look. Maybe not the back face as much, but it's still, I can still see him with that face. It's just he looks a bit too old on the back. But, um, yeah. And he wasn't on the plane. He was, um, on the island, actually. But for his accessories, once again, I'm not too sure what I would give him for accessories. 
because um, maybe a picture. He, has, he carries around a picture with him. So maybe I give him a picture of him and his his uh, his girlfriend chick. So this next these next few are actually from the tail section of the plane. They're the tailies, and this is one of my favorite characters as well. This is e uh, Mr. Echo, and um, so he's got his shirt which is all torn open. I used the musketeer figure, and I colored the torso inside brown. He's got his Jesus stick. He's a priest, kind of. Um, so he's got a stick that's in, that's, that has a lot of, uh, inscriptions on it. And the head and hair are Lando's from the solo film, you know? And I think both faces work pretty well for him. He's just got plain black pants, because he, he, he really just wears the same pants he crashed with. Or the same clothes he, he crashed with throughout the show. Next figure is, um, the, another tail section person. This is Anna Lucia. She was a cop before crashing. She has the pistol piece, which this would probably be uh, the gun that I'd, I'd use for a lot of the, the figures that do come with guns. She's got this sleeveless jacket and then also Aiden Versio's face, which I think works really well for her. And she's got the legs that came with Finn for episode 8. But yeah, Anna Lucia. The last figure of the tail section is Bernard. Um, I forget his last name as well. Um, but this one actually, the, yeah, the, the last like four or five, six, like these from here to here, these all have had outfits based off of something off the show. But I think I got Bernard pretty well. He's got the face uh, from Owen Lars, which I think works really well for him. And the hair is the Mr. Incredible hair. He's got a pose torso and the satchel thing. Yeah, it's just kind of what he wears for a lot of the sh uh, for a lot of his first time on the show. And then this figure is the last of the airplane survivors. This is Rose. She's Bernard's uh, wife, and she'd actually have um, the normal uh, brown skin tone. This skin tone. Uh, I just chose this one because this is the best uh, face print that really matches her but yeah she was not on the tail section actually they were separated but this outfit is just what I really quickly threw together because I couldn't really find anything that really worked for her um I couldn't really remember anything either but so yeah this is Rose and the last two figures are kind of antagonists I guess you could say here we have Benjamin Linus and he's got actually like a parka and whatnot on because at one point in the show he has to put it on to do something where it's really cold and so that's why he's wearing this and it's kind of like one of those just you know one-off things but it's it's it's, it's a workable uh, outfit for him it's just something different you know and yeah I don't know I'd probably give him a different hair piece I'd maybe give him like the um where is it like th this hair piece in brown maybe um, or something like that. Not too sure. But yeah, I think the face does pretty good. Maybe he'd have glasses on one or both of them. But yeah. And then the final figure is Richard um, Alpert. And he's one of my favorite characters. Um, I really wanted to include him because of this face that came um, for Percival Graves. And I think the face works really well for him. He's got the Superman hairpiece, and obviously the back face doesn't really work because it's a different face entirely. But and then the outfit is kind of like a raggy outfit that kind of looks like he's homeless, I guess, because that's kind of their thing. But yeah, that's all the figures. I doubt many people stay for the entire review. But um, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.